Hey folks, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy at the beautiful club at Mediterra. Today, ways to shave strokes off your score. That's eliminate three putts. That's what we're going to look at. Give you three ideas. A great drill from Greg Norman, the one that he used in his career. Even putting strategy. And yes, the brand new lag shot putter. We'll check that out, how that can help you with your stroke. Hopefully these tips are going to sort your putting out. So if you're going to be an effective putter, you have to have good distance control. It will really cut down on three putts. Helps you read the break properly if you have good speed on shorter putts. What's a good way to do it? Visualization, that's number one. Before you hit the putt, you have to have a good sense in your mind's eye of how that putt should roll. Picture playing in a scramble. If you're the third or fourth person to putt, you watch the same putt, you have a much better sense of it. Greg Norman had a great drill, or a friend of mine watched him do it for hours back at Grand Cypress in Orlando in the early part of his career. He'd actually go, they had a private green for the tour pros to the putting green and just stand there and roll balls to the hole. And he said he did it for hours and he'd watch the ball roll all the way out. He even did it for chips as well. So I would do a little bit of that, but in addition, just hit some putts with your putter from decent distances and watch the ball all the way to its finish. The better you train your eye, the better you can preview the putt, the more likely you are to have good touch. So number one, visualization. Number two, your stroke has to be efficient, no wasted movement in it, and it has to have good rhythm. If you have that, you are going to find it much more easy to hit the putt that you're visualizing. Okay, couple of thoughts. This lag shot putter, I just got it. I really like it. I actually like it the best of the lag shot collection. Let me show you how you could get the feel for it. Let your arms, picture holding a big bucket or something like that, or a watermelon. See how your triceps tuck up against your ribs. You want to generate energy from your body out to the club without a lot of independent arm and wrist movement. So get that connection, hold the club in front of you. And with this club, with its flex, I can feel with just a little bit of movement how much energy I can transfer out to the golf club. So my arms are nice and connected and that ball just pops off the club with this lag shot putter. This is what you're looking for in your stroke. I think this thing's great to train with, so if you want one, they only ordered 500 in the first batch. There's a link below, just pick one up. I think you'd find it really, really helpful. Get that stroke efficient though, and next thing, get your rhythm consistent. While I'm plugging stuff, the free Scratch Golf Academy app has a wonderful section in tools on putting rhythm with a built-in set of metronomes. You might want to do that, but let's try it here, tick, tock, Tick, tock, and that rhythm would hold true whether it's a long or a short putt. Let me try a short putt for you. Tick, tock, like that. But I've now got a stroke that's efficient. There's no wasted movement. I'm starting to work on my rhythm. That's another big tool again, because once you've seen the putt, you want a stroke that's reliable so you can meet that requirement. Let's look at number three, which is going to be strategy, believe it or not. Okay, so what does this pile of balls represent? Well, it would be potentially, I was about a 25 foot putt. It would be potentially the sort of spread pattern I might have long to short, especially that would be short that long. If I had a difficult longer putt, now if it's 30 or 40 feet or the green's super quick, your spread is likely going to be even longer than that. So what does that mean strategy wise? Here's what it means. Once you get a very low percentage make putt, if you're outside 20 or 25 feet, the percentage of make is very, very low. You want the hole in the middle of your spread pattern. In other words, you want the most short putts you can get. What happens to people, they get too much of a commitment to getting the ball to the hole. Their spread moves over here, too many long putts. So certainly we're not per se trying to leave it short, but you need to pay attention over the next few rounds on these intermediate and longer putts. Is, are you getting about the same amount of putts short as long? That leaves you the most putts you can get. So invest in yourself a little bit. Do some of these creative drills, the Greg Norman one, or just with your putter. Watch the ball, train your eye. I honestly think this is great. I'm going to be using it in lessons. Phenomenal feel. Great helps you with your rhythm. And pay attention to your stats, or at least mentally. These things will make a difference if you put them into practice. Hope this is helpful for you. Thanks again for watching.